So today we're replacing septic risers because I hired an amateur to do the job. I should have just done myself DIY. So we purchased a septic riser replacement kit from Aerostream. And here you see we dug out the old septic. Um, it took about two hours to do uh, the entire dig out. And you can see on those corners, which look like pillars or sand mounds, is where the amateur sealed just with rock at the corners and didn't use a flange. So it was, we were getting a lot of leakage, uh, rainwater. Um, here you see us dug out completely. We removed the old risers and we cleaned up the, the septic tank of concrete and we're getting it prepped for the actual installation of the new risers. I dug about 32 inches by 32 inch space, left me enough room to work around. Um, the Aerostream kit was really self-explanatory. Here we're using their heavy duty sealing tape uh, for the flange. It comes with the kit, uh, you just follow the instructions. You mount the flange into the actual septic riser pipe and follow the instructions. Pretty straightforward. Was really pleased with the Aerostream product. And of course you see we only use Milwaukee tools on our land because they're the best. Uh, right here, after we got some concrete mixed up, we laid a small bead all the way around, anticipating where the corners of the flange would sit. Make sure we got about an inch, maybe two inches, nice bead, uh, so we could place the flange down directly. Um, once we got it lined up, just gave it a little bit of pressure, push down, check to make sure the seal is still um, in the right seed, and gave it a couple pushes down, and then we laid some more concrete over. Uh, making sure we got all the air out uh, as much as we could. <clears throat> we put about a four to six inch circumference of concrete around the risers and kind of smoothed out the edges so we could divert water if it were to seep down away from the actual uh, riser base. Uh, this part, it was time consuming but well worth it. The company does not uh, actually make a recommendation for the concrete. Uh, they give you kit with concrete anchors to go directly into the top of your tank. However, we thought this would, would work better and let us sleep better at night knowing that no water would seep in. And finally, we're just screwing down the, the lids. Uh, the lids are also sealed, so Overall, very, very pleased with the quality of Aerostream products. Uh, this is the concrete drying. We let it dry overnight and came back the next day for the fill. And you can see here, uh, increased speed of, of the video, which is backfilling. Uh, this took about an hour, about half time. We compacted along the way, just, uh, Every so often we stepped on the dirt and made it made sure it was compacted before adding another top layer. Um, here we're just brushing off the remaining dirt and almost done. Looking pretty good. You'll find the link for Aerostream in the description. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe to the channel for upcoming projects around our property. And once again, thanks for watching.